Don't Forget to Come Back by Robbie H. Harris. Pictures by Harry Bliss. Read by me, Mixie Chen. Guess what? Yesterday, Daddy told me something very important. He told me that he and Mommy were going out right after supper and Sarah was coming to babysit. I didn't like that one bit, so I told Daddy three very important things. Number one, I am not a baby. Number two, I am a big kid. Number three, so I do not need a stupid babysitter. Sugar, we have to go out. I still wanted Daddy and Mommy to stay home with me. So I told Daddy three very scary things. Number one, if you go out tonight, the most giant, most loudest thunderstorm ever will come and blow our house down. I told you so. Number two, if you go out tonight, I'll get a very bad tummy ache and I'll throw up. I told you so. Number three, and if you go out tonight, the biggest, baddest moose will walk into the kitchen and eat me all up. I told you so. That didn't scare Daddy at all. I ran and grabbed my panda, a big bag of chips, my bike helmet, my monster book, my ballet shoes, my umbrella, and my toothbrush. Well, if you really have to go, then I'll come with you. See, I'm ready to go, and if you really, really love me, you'll take me with you. We always love you, Pumpkin, even when we go out. Daddy always calls me Sugar, and Mommy always calls me Pumpkin just before they go out. So the bad news was they were still going out. I know what to do, Mommy. You can go out. Daddy can stay with me, and we won't need Sarah. Don't worry, Pumpkin. We won't be gone for long. Well, if you go out, I won't be nice anymore, and you won't like that. I was so mad. I ran into the closet and shut the door. It's way too dark in here, Panda. I've run away. Do you miss me yet? We miss you already, Sugar. Hope you won't be gone forever. Please come home soon. Hi, I'm back. Welcome home. Are you still going out? Yes, Pumpkin. Well, if you go out, then I'll go somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere very far away. And maybe, just maybe, I'll never ever come back. The doorbell rang. I grabbed Panda and ran to my room. Sarah's here. Tell Sarah I've gone to the South Pole. Guess what? Sarah walked into my room. Where are you? I'm still here, but I'm leaving for the South Pole very soon. Cool, we can model with the penguins. So, can I go with you? I do like Sarah, and she's not stupid. She's silly. Well, okay, silly Sarah, but it's a very long trip, and it's very cold down there. I can't wait to go. Guess what now? It was time for Daddy and Mommy to go. So I told them three very important things. Goodbye, Mommy. Number one. Number one. Goodbye, Mommy. Number two. Goodbye, Daddy. Number three, don't forget to come back. And finally, they went out. After they left, Sarah and I were so busy, we didn't have any time to go all the way to the South Pole. Sarah heated up cheese pizza with pepperoni and pineapple on top. I'm going to put peanut butter and pickles on top too, silly Sarah. Oh, after that, Sarah let me paint my fingernails and toenails with silver and purple polish. How am I doing, Sarah? Nice. Then we put orange lipstick on our noses, cheeks, and lips. We looked like clowns, and I liked that. And before I went to bed, Sarah didn't make me wash off any of my clown makeup. I liked that, too. And she read me my monster book five times. That was so cool. Guess what else? This morning when I tiptoed into Daddy and Mommy's room, there they were, asleep and snoring in the big bed. I gave them squeezy hugs and noisy kisses. They both woke up, and when they saw me, 
They were so happy I didn't forget to come back all the way from the South Pole. So I told them three more very important things. Number one, the South Pole is too cold. Number two, Sarah is so silly. Number three, and she didn't let a single moose in the house. The end. Mixie, what was your favorite thing in the book? My favorite thing in the book was when they put on orange lipstick on their cheeks and lips. Why? Because she, they looked funny. And I want to do that. Mommy, can I do that? Um, sure. <laughs>